Hey, what's going on everybody? So today's garden update, got a couple things in store. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the shade cloth up over the top of this. Just do something real easy, nothing too complicated. Um, and then I'm gonna set up for the mealworms or the popworms or the black soldier fly larva harvesting. I'm gonna show you the first step on that and then we'll just see how, if that begins to take or not. Um, but let's begin. Clock is ticking, time for the weekend. Work is coming to an end. I got my eyes wide open. Savor in the moment, trying to breathe it all in. If I could slow down the clock, I would. When I'm with you, I just feel so good. I'd hit replay every single night. So for now, let's just take our time. So I got my trusty scissors. Uh, these are the special kind, straight from uh, some exotic place. I mean, instead of shade cloth, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some of this burlap sack, uh, just sort of all-purpose for uh, fabric. Um, and uh, yeah, the, what, what I'm doing for is it's, I'm unsure on if you can see it real well, but uh, I just want to provide some shade while allowing uh, the maximum amount of um, sun through. Basically, by trying to do just a little bit of at a time, the plant seems the tree seems to be doing a little bit better this time. Uh, I'm doing a little bit better now, so I just want to provide a little bit of protection. So if I need to go a little bit heavier, then I'll go a little bit heavier. All right, so let's cut some out. Ready for the ride. You know we're gonna make it last all night. So let's just take our, take our time. So I hope that does it now. Um, just kind of put the screws in just a little bit to hold the cloth there. Again, the tree here is protected, protecting this little shade contraption by the uh, from the wind. So I don't think that that's going to be too much of an issue in the wind. If it if, if if it does for whatever reason we get some heavy wind and it knocks this thing down, then I'll just come in and put the stakes in a little bit uh, further deeper next time. Um, but for now, let's move on over to the next project. All right, thank you. All right, so the next problem we're going to tackle is uh, this particular avocado tree. Um, the leaves are being just a little bit um, sunburnt. Not too bad, but uh, they, they are showing some signs. And since it's so small, I kind of want to just make sure it has the maximum chance to grow and start to thrive and really get its roots in there and start growing. Um, having two avocado trees would be awesome. I anticipate maybe in one year. Well, in years to come, I'm probably going to wish I didn't have uh, two trees or, to be honest, three trees. I'm not going to put... Um, to worry about the shade cloth if I get some over this thing okay no worries but uh, this plant is already kind of covering it and should cover it uh, until winter to when the sun isn't so bad but all right I'm going to try to make it happen with these things so I don't need to use uh, have to go and buy any more wood or anything like that so hey let's end it Alright, so not on there necessarily super strong, but I think it's at least going to hold throughout the rest of the summer. And if not, whatever, I'll just fix it and come up with another idea. Okay, let's move on to the next project. Alright, so if you, if you are, this is the first time you're watching this uh, channel and uh, chances are not, I only have like 9 or 10 subscribers or whatever. Thank you family and friends. Um, you saw that a uh, couple of, about a week or two ago, maybe three, um, I talked about how there was black soldier flies in here and that I wanted to do something to possibly harvest them. Well, what are black soldier flies? Well, this is basically what I'm trying to harvest right here. Uh, these are high protein fat, uh, 
um, worms that I can feed to the chickens and improve the quality of, of the eggs the chickens produce. Um, and this bag just cost me about 11 bucks. So I'm trying to figure out how can I possibly do some very small changes to my worm harvesting, uh, worm, uh, worm casting harvesting center and see if I can possibly start harvesting some of these. So let me to show you kind of what we're going to do. So the first step is uh, we just put some fresh food in here. So, and this is one of my better, pro best producing um, worms, so, uh, worm bins. So what I'm going to do is the pop worms tend to like it to be uh, the least amount of sun, the better. Um, so first thing that I'm going to do is change positions of the box. There's spiders in there moving around. This probably isn't going to really do too much, uh, do that. It's probably really not going to do that much, but uh, just for kind of my peace of mind to know where I'm doing the uh, uh, black soldier fly larva harvesting, um, I just want to kind of have that separated. So that's really the main reason why I'm moving it over. Um, next step. So let me bring you on in here. So when you're doing, uh, when you're when you're harvesting worm castings, you you want to bury the food, and we just put in quite a bit, so that's why it's kind of hard to do it. But instead, what I'm going to do is actually uncover some of it, um, and then bring it to the top. So that's that's the next step for me. I'll put you over here to the side. I'm looking to see if there's any food beneath um, still, that still could possibly um, need to be, uh, that, 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 that might be, let's just say, a little bit of fermented because it's been in here a little bit. Um, but I'm going to bring all this to the top. And we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to, um, instead of covering all of it now, what I'm going to do is just cover some of it. So I'm going to take my burlap sack, just kind of maybe fold over in a little bit because the worms, they don't like, they don't like, uh, they don't like the, well, the least amount of sun, like I said, the better. So I'm going to go ahead and just cover these, cover this over here. Then the next step, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add something to the lid to hopefully encourage the black soldier flies to come back and to lay their eggs here. So from the study that I've done, it says if they've already been in one place, then there's kind of a smell to them um, so that uh, they'll come back. But i got to do something real fast to encourage them to um, come back and lay their eggs. So that's what we're going to show you next. So I am just take, going ahead and, and picking up some uh, cardboard here um, because what, they're, what they like to do is put the eggs into the uh, holes right here. So I'm just going to kind of fold it up real fast. Nothing too crazy, not looking for any particular size. Something just kind of like this. Maybe I might try to just make sure that it's at least even. Just for my own personal thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this and then make sure that you can see what I'm doing. We'll bring this into view. And since the food is over here on this end, I'm just going to tape this up to right here. So let me pull off a little bit of tape. And I'm making sure I'm trying not to cover where the um, where the holes are. So I'm just going over um, this end here to make sure that uh, the holes are not covered. Probably just put a couple of pieces on that because I just grabbed some whatever tape. I don't really know if this is going to hold up well on what I'm trying to do, especially when I don't do enough. Do one more nice long one and that should be it. And I'm even going to put that cardboard just like that. So, because what you want, what I'm trying to stimulate here is the fe the female black soldier flies are going to put their eggs into here and I want them to, the they'll put the eggs and larvae into here and they'll just fall onto the food. Um, so that's what I'm trying to stimulate. I don't know if this is going to work. I know that, that this is how um, I, I, 
I don't know if this is going to work for my setup. If it's going to work, this is how it'd be done. So now I'm just going to close it up and yeah, we'll go ahead and continue on to the rest of the uh, garden update. So these cherry tomatoes are just not, not necessarily ripening yet. They're coming in though, nothing too special. One of the big changes since uh, we led, since the last update is I'm really starting to get in a lot of beans now. I mean, I'm just getting them all over the place. Um, got them coming in here, here, um, down there. And, and, and so, yep, got some right here. They're, they're, they're just really, by the time I posted the video, these all just started really coming in. So um, the uh, be beans are definitely looking pretty good. I did do, uh, did double check on when it's time to harvest the onions. It's not time to yet. Basically they will fall over and sort of just, um, they'll be so fragile that if I attempt to pull them by the, uh, um, by the, whatever, let's just say the stock for lack of the stem here, for lack of a better term at the moment, that uh, they, it would basically tear off. So these are not ready yet because they're still strong. However, we got the goji berries coming in. Goji berries are coming in all over as I almost fall. Um, these are coming in real nice. Got some down there. Um, got some more coming up back there. So the goji berries are coming in. That's pretty exciting. I haven't seen them in a little bit. Had the peaches on this particular tree. We ate them. I, I think I got one mixed up with the, got them mixed up with some store-bought ones, but uh, uh, at least the one that I tasted, it didn't taste so good. You know, I, I am going to be honest with you um, if, if they, they taste good or not. These, I've had these in the past. Haven't had them yet this year, but these things really are um, legit. Um, so I was expecting the other one too. So I think that, um, I think that I could just got uh, uh, basically the store-bought one. You can see though, what's going back here. Last time I was talking about how I was concerned about the branches breaking. So I put up some um, stilts just to help support the weight because I um, these things are so good. And you can see that on the floor right there, um, we, the birds will come, knock some off, and just naturally we'll get some casualties. Um, so I'm just trying to maximize um, the yield this year. We did have at least one fig uh, ripen so far. The others, are that was sort of the first of the Mohicans. The rest are coming in. We just did the uh, shade over the avocado tree. Hopefully we'll see some of that. But actually, let me let me zoom in here real fast. So um, you can see this is definitely, it, it's everything seems to have stabilized to a certain degree. I mean, there's definitely some animals taking their, of course, now the uh, marine base I live close to is flying. So you, please excuse the plane in the background. I'll try to talk over it. No real update on the pomegranate tree, except they're getting bigger and closer to harvest. We just put the uh, cheesecloth, I mean, the, the the burlap sack acting as a impromptu shade cloth. Let's see here, do we got any more eggs here? Nope, no eggs. It's, it's in the afternoon. We typically get them by the morning. Um, you know what? It, these girls haven't been out in a while. Let me let me let me show you one of the things that I really enjoy is letting these birds out. All right, so you can see them getting excited already. Oh yeah, girls, it's your day today. Come on out. Come on out. Nope, you don't need to follow me. Go do your thing. Go do your thing. That's right. Go do your thing. And so I like letting them out close to nighttime because they will just naturally go back into their um, coop. But when it's when it gets close to sleeping, they're pecking around my feet right now. Hey, girls, you can go away. Thank you. There you go. So they'll, they'll go and feed themselves. Uh, not seeing any new growth on the uh, orange tree. Just uh, the, gro the new growth that came in is just starting to, you know, darken up and match the rest of the tree here. Um, the mango tree, just a little bit more. Get my finger out of the way. Just a little bit. It might be kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can force zoom it. But this little section right there is just starting to take a little bit more shape than it was last year. A correction, last update. So this section here where my son uh, goes has and plays with his toys in the dirt and everything, I was, um, I had collected a lot of rocks from that were basically coming down my hill um, from some of the stuff I was doing up there. And this whole thing was filled. I'm now down just a few five gallon buckets uh, and emptying that. And originally I was wanting to go ahead and possibly put some, uh, put, put some, 
soil down and maybe put some wood chips down to let it just start conditioning this but at the same time i kind of don't want to take my son's play area away this is it's the only area that it really has to sort of play on the dirt that's not going to affect my garden so um, i was i was thinking about using um the fountain here as sort of a little mini ecosystem um uh, to maybe just have a little bit more humidity and have that just run but yeah i'm probably just going to let my son have it if anything i may separate it by one half um, because i really want him to have place where he can play in the dirt normally here's the avocado tree that we took out a little bit ago again still not showing any signs um just like i said it, it is getting some extra nitrogen from the birds that are um, taking perch upon it um, but uh no signs as of yet it looks like uh um, some of the family may have planted what appears to be some tomatoes in there i'm not sure what they planted it, it at least actually looks like there's a little variety of them um so not sure what my family planted in there like i said it's like christmas one in your garden just you never know what's going to be there the next day and then finishing up here with the update let me see if i can get a good side view here's the ahi amarillo i told you i'd be exp on the last update about a week or so ago that was just starting to be get, get some peppers in here um, and they are starting to come in so that's very exciting um just really love the flavoring of these peppers okay so that's going to do it for this garden update uh knocked out a couple projects that i've been wanting to get done with the um, burlap sap as a shade cloth and then starting the project to see if i can actually harvest some of these uh pop worms or black soldier fly larvae um, but we'll see um, chickens are out having a great time and uh, they're, they're just ex always excited to get out um, but uh, next over the weekend i'm going to be uh, possibly Got to see what's going on as far as uh, which way I'm going to prioritize. Um, I, want, I definitely want to get the planer, wood thickness planer sort of cleaned up or, and, and ready to assemble. Um, but I have some doors on the cabinets that my wife has been waiting a very long time um, for me to basically whitewash. And I'll probably end up doing that just because she's been so grateful with her patience. Uh, um, showering me. Whoa. Hey, girls. You coming to say hi to you trying to get in it basically when you hear them doing that that's them doing basically a uh sort of very short flight period and uh one just one quick thing about the chickens and then that's going to be it as you can see the yellow ones kind of stick together and then the white ones do that um that is because when uh i first bought the first got the chickens i got the um the four yellow ones first um, so they kind of grew up to, to each other with each other and then I got the white ones So that's why you, you, if I let them out in the future, you see they kind of sort of stick in those particular groups um, I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll we're gonna end it here and we'll next project Will be a surprise to me because I'm not even sure what it's gonna be. All right. Have a good day and thank you for watching